Welcome back to the reload bench. So this large rectangular box that uh, is kind of packed unevenly here is the third time that I've taken advantage of the birthday pricing offer from Midway USA. So what their birthday pricing is for those that have a registered account with Midway USA and they disclose their birth date, they get a notification through email saying that seven days before and seven days after your birthday, you have a one-time opportunity to get discounted pricing on certain items. Not everything Midway sells has a birthday price. And when you go to select that item, it'll show the original price with a slash through it and then birthday pricing. So you can decide how best to spend your money. Some things get a heavily discounted price. It almost cuts it in half. And other things only get a few dollars taken off of it or a few cents. So I would uh, recommend that somebody use their best judgment if they're working within a budget. But if you already use Midway USA, I would recommend taking advantage of their birthday pricing. This is the third year I've done it, and I think I've done pretty well with it. So enough of that. Let's get to the unboxing. So I'll get out the buck 285 and I'll cut the clear packaging tape along the top of the box. They've got this thing stuffed. It costs $5.05 to ship and it's fairly heavy. I got it in, what, three days? I ordered it Monday morning and it arrived Wednesday afternoon. Now the seam on the box here where it's glued on the inside has already come loose. And there's no tape reinforcing it. So literally the two inch packaging tape going across the top was the only thing keeping this from bursting open. That's something to note if you're going to place an order with Midway USA. I have had a situation before where there was freight damage, the box busted open and I contacted Midway USA, they made it right. So let's see what we've got in here. So they do have some gratuitous packaging material. It's kind of uh, elongated cardboard. It's uh, got some sort of stitching in it, kind of like two, uh, two just craft paper snakes. That's it. There's no other packaging in there. They've got this box stuffed with merchandise, and I can already see, uh, yeah, um, it didn't do so well on the trip. So I guess we'll start with, these are 30 caliber, 308, full metal jacket, bow tail, 150 grain bullets from Hornady. This is a pack of... 100. So my plan is to do some reloading for 762 by 51 millimeter NATO military loads. I'm going to need 147 grain to 150 grain full metal jacket bullet. So I decided to get this package of 100 that normally goes for $31.99 for $24.14. Unfortunately, due to the weight of these bullets, they did damage to the next product, which is not for me. This is my son's birthday present for next year. I decided to go ahead and buy this early. I will unbox this last, but you can see here, there's a bend in the box where the bullets were setting on top of this. And from getting tossed around during the shipping process, it bent the box. We'll get back to this. So to go with the bullets, I got a set of Lee dies. These are their ultimate dies, rifle dies. These are the, you can get different sets. The ultimate comes with everything. So you've got the powder scoop, the shell holder. You've got the decapping and resizing. You've got the flaring. You've got the, the die for the factory crimp die. You've got the powder through die. Everything's here including a little bit of resizing lubricant, although I, I don't normally use that. And the instructions give you some reload data in case you don't have a reload manual. So I recommend the uh, Lee dies. They're the best bang for your buck. They've got a lifetime warranty. The customer service with Lee is great. The price is right. Made in America. I mean, there, there's nothing bad I can say about Lee dies. And they'll work in other presses. So if you've got an R RCBS rock trucker or whatnot, Lee dies will work in it. Now those ordinarily are $57.49. And I got them for $46.95. So there's a little bit of a savings there. 
I decided to pick up some ammunition while I was shopping as well. I got some Federal Syntec 10 millimeter auto. This is a 205 grain full metal jacket with a uh, synthetic coating over it. I've used Syntec in nine millimeter before and it works just fine. The reason I got some 10 millimeter ammo isn't because I own a 10 millimeter yet. I don't, but one day I will. And I thought, why not go ahead and have some ammo on hand? I may already have a box of 10 millimeter because I do have a box of miscellaneous ammo for guns I don't own or don't own yet, but more is better than less. So let's see, what is the price difference here? Federal Syntec range ammunition, 10 millimeter auto, 205 grain, total synthetic jacket, TSJ, box of 50. Ordinarily $41.99, I got it for $34.39. So that's not too bad, especially the cost of 10 millimeter. Here I've got a box of Lehigh Defense bullets. These are the 44 caliber, that's .429 diameter, extreme penetrator bullets. This is a 250 grain, solid copper. And I've used these before for deer hunting. They work great. I, I fired them through my Henry Big Boy and they, they work great. Ordinarily these go for $64.99 for a box of 50. I got it for $48.53. Here we have a surplus M12 holster. The clear plastic bag has just got a couple staples in it. There is a instruction manual it looks like in it and it looks like it's got a tag on it. Yeah, this might have a national stock number on here, but uh, this is a military surplus M12 holster. I've already done a video on the M12 holster. I'll go ahead and include a link to that at the end of this. This is another one to add to my collection. I might use this on a regular basis, or I might just keep it for collecting purposes. Now, this one is a Cathay Enterprises, and I do believe I already own one of those. Looks like it's brand new condition. It's got the uh, plastic or fiberglass sleeve in it, and it's in great shape. If this is used, I can't tell. It's, it's in great shape. Let's see if it's got the plastic cleaning rod just open the snap here. It, I can see the handle for it. Go ahead and open the snap. Here's a cleaning rod that's included that I don't recommend using, but it comes with it. Everything looks like it's brand new. So this is going in the collection more than likely, although I could put it on another cartridge belt and use it. It is set up right now for right hand, but I can switch it over to left hand. That snap on there is tight because it's new. Put the sleeve back in here. So whether I use it or collect it, I got a pretty good deal on it. Ordinary price on this. And oh, by the way, these uh, these holsters, whether they're uh, new old stock or they're used at Midway USA, they go in and out of stock. I've, I've had different ones in my shopping cart before. And when I went to go buy them weeks or months later, they weren't available anymore. So the military surplus M12 holster, grade one, so it's new. Ordinarily $49.99, I got it for $28.65. So I consider that a good deal. All right, so the next item I have here is one of those ones where I should have already had this. Uh, all my friends have it, why don't I have it? And this is the one where my mom would say, if all of your friends jumped off of a bridge, would you? Let me get this box out of the way. Let's open it up to answer that question. It's a rectangular box marked Traditions, which means it's Pieta. It's Italian. You can tell also when you slide this styrofoam shell out of the box. On the top there, there's the standard Pieta black powder revolver manual and then there's uh some cap and ball shooting information from traditions right here in a pamphlet let's just get this open and inside this styrofoam sleeve there's cutouts in here different compartments you could put things in there there's a clear plastic bag with the yellow rubber band wrapped around the barrel end Let's go ahead and just unwrap this. 
and get it out. Some packing oil in there, so it's a little bit greasy. So to answer your question, yes, mom, yes, I would. If all my friends were going to jump off the bridge, I'd jump off with them. I finally got an 1860 Army, guys. I know, I'm a little bit late to the game. Okay, I'm a lot late to the game. Let me get a rag here to get some of this grease off of here. But all my friends have got an 1860 Army. They've all got an 1851 Navy. They've all got the 1849 Pocket Model. I do not. Well, at least not until now. I have other black powder revolvers, and I do have clones of the 1851 Navy, but the 1860 Army is something I should have gotten a while ago. Everybody else is doing it, so why don't I? So I plan to make some videos with this in the future, but it might be a while. Regardless, here it is. The 1860 Army from Pieta. Now, they had a couple different models available, but I chose this model because it had the case-hardened case, case hardened finish on the frame. It wasn't one of the uh, brass frame ones that they never really made. And it it seemed to have uh, pretty much everything. The 8-inch barrel, that's kind of standard. This wasn't any sort of um, special edition, but they did have uh, another one that was comparable the discount price on it wasn't as much, and I really don't know what the difference is between the models. Maybe I'll buy the other one at some point and do a side-by-side -side comparison video. So this one was originally $349.99. I got it for $289.72. I say that's a pretty good deal. And I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, well, he's conforming to what the crowd does. He's he's you know, following the herd. All of his friends got one, so he's got to have one. Well, just to show that I am my own man, I got another one. That's right. This one's from Taylor's Firearms, which they're just a distributor. So let's get this rectangular box open. It's just kind of a um, kind of a grayish color with uh, the Taylor Firearms logo. And it's, I'll just slide it out here. It's another sleeve. A gray styrofoam sleeve with Pieta black powder revolver instructions on there. And what do we have in here? What's a little bit different? What's kind of off the beaten path? Not extremely rare. Not extremely rare. Uh, some of my friends have this, but not everybody has one of these. Now, this one didn't have the uh, yellow rubber band over the barrel, but it did have the rectangular clear plastic bag that's got the packing oil. Get that out of the way, and uh, let's get this gray sleeve out of the way. It's kind of cracked there. Some of the styrofoam is cracked, so I wonder if this thing uh, took a beating in transit from Italy to America or at Midway or in transit. So what we have here is the Pieta 1861 Navy. That's right. Something a little bit different. Not everybody's got one of these. Not everybody wants one of these. But I figured, why not? Because I've wanted one of these for a while, and the price was right. Everything's a little bit tight on here. The uh, loading lever is tight on that. So let me go to my price list here. The Pieta 1861 Navy Black Powder 36 caliber 8.5 inch barrel case hardened steel frame blue normally $387.99 I got it for $347.36 so a little bit of savings not that much but I'm probably not going to do much better than that also there weren't a lot of black powder revolvers in stock so I didn't have a whole lot to choose from it was this or the Whitneyville uh Dragoon and I almost got that but I decided you know what I've wanted the 1861 Navy a little bit longer than that particular model of the Dragoon, so why not go with it? So now let's get back to the item that I got as a birthday present in advance, so I don't have to look for it later when it might be out of stock and see what sort of deal I got on it. Finally, the item that got the most freight damage, but I think it's really just to the packaging. You can see the crease here in the box about three quarters of the way along the length. 
It's got a, uh, it's a black box with a company logo on here. And at the bottom on one side, it's got the American flag. On the bottom on the other side, it says 101% made in the USA. Limited lifetime warranty from Topps Knives. And this purchase was inspired by a friend of mine. His channel name is Guns and Blades. Go check him out. I'll include a link to the video uh, that he did that inspired me to make this purchase. We'll go ahead and open the flap here at the top of the box. I don't want to damage the packaging because this is a gift for my older son. When I saw the Guns and Blades video on this, I said, my kid would like this. My kid would definitely like this. So here in this clear plastic bag on the back side here, the American flag made in the USA, we've got a black nylon sheet and it looks like it's got a lanyard here says here tops knives spec ops trust tops top knives.com uh, phone number and there is a certificate of manufacturer and authenticity in with this now i'm not going to open this bag because this is a, a gift so i would recommend going to the video that i'm linking at the end of this video if you want to see a great review of this knife you can see it's got this uh graphite colored handle here it's a long knife this is a hunting knife got some quick releases on the on the outside of the sheath and it looks like uh, velcro to uh to retain it here but this is a hunting knife and uh you could use this for uh bushcraft or survival or if you just like knives and you want to collect a premium american made knife that's that so let's get down to the brass tacks of it what sort of deal did i get on this the tops knives anaconda nine fixed blade knife Nine and a half inch Tanto Point, 1095 high carbon alloy blade, linen micarta handle black. $209.99, I got it for $182.48. So I think that's a pretty good savings and I've got his birthday present way in advance. Now all I have to do is just not lose it. So there's another example of Midway USA birthday pricing. If you're a firearms enthusiast, if you're into outdoors, fishing, camping, things like that, Midway USA is a great company to go to. They offer free shipping from time to time. They have deals on products, and they carry a wide variety of products. They, they've got uh, pretty good uh, shipping terms. I mean, I usually get stuff in a week or less, and I don't have anything bad to say about the company. I've been using them for years, and I plan to continue to use them. I definitely am going to continue to take advantage of the birthday pricing. You might want to also. Thanks for watching.